Boy, the, hello all. The lens really looks dirty when I show it in the sun. I'll have to keep you like this and make me squint. <laughs> so, can you believe it? The U.S. Senate actually passed that tax cut bill that will bring millions of more homeless to our streets, bring tax hikes to the poorest and the middle class, and give billions of tax breaks for the wealthy. And 51% of the U.S. is for this. It's our third time at trickle down. Last two times ended in depression recessions, especially the 2008 Bush Depression recession. We just haven't had enough. So that's not what I'm here to talk about, as disgusting as that is. Let's go talk about melting ice that is happening much more rapidly than previously thought. So NASA is warning that the uh, Greenland ice sheet is much more unstable than previously thought as we just finished up a heat wave in Iceland with temperatures 54 degrees above normal, causing huge amounts of melt. Look at this map. As you can see, the temperatures were way off the scale. One of the reasons that Greenland is melting so fast is the soot that's being deposited on the ice, which makes it much easier for heat to transfer into the top of the ice. And then the sea down below is warming up, which is melting it from the bottom. And that's causing very unstable parts of the Greenland ice sheet. You wouldn't want to be on top of that thing if it's completely unstable and you suddenly fall over a mile down into the to a abyss of who knows what. My advice, stay off the ice. So this isn't going to happen even if it got 90 degrees every day for years up in Greenland. It still would not melt that tremendous amount of ice all at once. It would still take probably 100 years plus to melt it all. But if some weirdness happened and it was to melt all at once, it would raise sea levels 20 feet. So Chile has a glacier and a huge block of ice came off of this glacier. The uh, size of that block of ice is 1,148 feet by 1,247 feet by 98.42 feet high. Unbelievable. Here's the picture. Do I need to say anything more? But yet, we just opened up the last refuge in the Arctic to gas drilling and fracking. Everything goes, roads, the whole thing. Last pristine area, goodbye. We're gonna actually go after more destructive fossil fuels. If we go after them, everything we go after, we will use. People aren't going to stop driving their cars, are you? Are you guys going to do anything to lower the emissions of each person? I kind of doubt it. Is this the government's fault? Partially. Because they're not giving us an alternative. They're not giving us mass transit for very low cost. No, they're spending that money on billionaires so that they get tax cuts that they then can put into the coffers of the next group of... No, let me get back to the subject of melting ice, if you know what I mean. Yeah, our planet is in a free fall position right now and the only people that can really help it is the, is the people of the u.s the governments can only put in like some high-speed uh, tube transport buried deep in the ground that's one thing and i know a lot of people don't believe in that though it's being used to this very day and has been used for years since the 70s so telling me it doesn't work is just bs it does work um it's, that's about all our governments are going to do. So that means the rest is up to us as a society. Do you think we're up to it? Stop driving our cars. Stop uh, endlessly buying plastic this and plastic that. Consuming when you're told to, which is how the U.S. thinks it fixes everything. You just consume and everything is fine. There are so many people, well, there are not a lot, but there are some people on the internet that uh, I really appreciate being there. As a group of people, 
independent people that aren't bought off by any corporations or any groups are out here telling it like it is. I'll put some of those links down below. These people are out there giving their hours and hours of work that it takes to do something like this on, on uh, YouTube. You have to do the research, you have to shoot the video, you have to edit it and upload it. And then you have to do all the, uh, the labeling on YouTube once the video's uploaded. So I certainly appreciate all those people doing that work for us. It really makes it easier on all of us because we all take our little bit and put it out there. And we share our links so that uh, it, it truly helps people who are really don't understand understand climate change and want to just believe in denialism instead. I think it's quite obvious that for the next eight years, the U.S. is going to do just the opposite of what's good, both environmentally and socially. I certainly do appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers on the channel. After all, this channel is against the oligarchy, the fascism that's taking over and ignoring what needs to be done using denialism instead.